In today's video, we're going to be talking all about tool offsets. That is, what are they and how do we set them on our SILE VMC via the LNC 5800 CNC controller. In the next couple of photos, you can clearly see the difference in tool lengths between my work probe and drill bit in the drill chuck. Accurate tool length of measurement is paramount as each tool length is a different length and these lengths need to be stored into the controller as they will be called up during the program cycle. For the purpose of this video, all tools will be measured in comparison to my edge finder. Hence, my edge finder or work probe will become my datum zero. My probe is tool number 11 or pocket 11. However, I'll talk more about pockets and tool numbers in another video. Once loaded into the spindle, I can place my Edge Technologies Pro touch-off gauge onto my orange vise and jog down using the MPG pendant until zero is obtained on the needle. Once zero is obtained, we can then use the LNC controller as a normal digital readout. Push the relative function key on the controller, then push the clear all button. Notice that all axes are now zeroed out. We can now call up our next tool. For this example, I will call up tool 12 using an MDI command. Press the position key once and then the MDI button. T12 is now entered and the login key pressed. Run the tool change by pressing cycle start. Note, an M06 command does not have to be entered as I do this out of habit. Now that your next tool is loaded, you can carefully jog the tool down toward the touch gauge using the MPG function key and pendant. Jog down slowly until zero is obtained on the dial. To enter the controller tool length screen, press the offset menu key once and then press the tool management key. Scroll down using the arrow keys until you come to the tool number you are measuring. In my example, I pause at tool 11 to verify that my work probe is set to zero. I then arrow down one more to tool 12 and type in the value exactly as shown in the Z relative figure. My value here was at minus 60.953 millimeters. Notice that after typing the value in, I had to press the input key to enter the value into the controller memory. Well that's it for today. I trust you enjoyed part 2 of this how-to series. Make sure you come back next week as we will discuss work offsets and how to set them. Thank you for joining in and I'll see you next week. Cheers.